Welcome into First Strike. Here we go with our fourth edition. I'm joined. It's your boy, Pimp Slap POD, joined by JM Hockey 19, MMA Jeff, and Subhuman Gaucho. We've got three fights to get you guys paid in the UFC 303 this weekend. And it's a lot of fun with these breakdowns tonight. We're going to take you guys through what we have, what we've played already, things to look out for. And uh, Jeff, what do you think about this card? Early looks. As always, I'm excited to see another fight night with you boys. They're always a good time and uh, usually profitable. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, this fight or this fight card is uh, pretty exciting. So I'm I'm looking forward to it. Excellent, Gaucho. How are we doing this week? Doing pretty gosh darn well. Uh, I did get attacked by a swarm of bees. If you wonder, my eye looks weird. Uh, most of the swelling's down now after some Benadryl and some ice. The Benadryl doesn't have me pretty loopy. But in the meantime, uh, Jeff has a great fight for us tonight. Twitter fight of the week. Everybody's got an opinion on this one, and I'm excited to hear Jeff's opinion. Jeff, the number six, Gary, 14-0 and 0 going out there against what seems to be the public favorite, MVP Michael Page, number 11. He's 22-2 and 2 on the season. How are we getting paid? Out of those 22 and two wins for uh, MVP here, he's um, he's got a five inch reach advantage and he's only one and oh in the UFC. And it was coming off of a pretty uh, poor fight against Kevin Holland a couple of months ago uh, where he ended up winning by unanimous decision. He's got some strong KO power. He's got uh, 12 KOs in his career, 10 of them coming in the first round. However, uh, Ian Gary has never been KO'd. He's sitting at 14 and 0 as a pro. He's 18 and 0 as a total as an amateur and a pro he's got seven ko wins three coming in the first round three coming in the second one in the third uh i you know he's coming off a big decision win against uh jeff neal back in february i think he's excited to get back in the ring uh his popularity got hurt a little bit based on the rumors from his wife but i don't think that's going to matter too much in this one you can't take away from the fact that the guy is a solid durable fighter and he is highly skilled um i, I think this one's probably going to go the distance but with uh Gary's money line the way it is, I, I, got, I grabbed it on the money line at minus 140. It then shifted to minus 150. You know, if, if you guys are on the opposite side taking MVP, I would probably wait till a little closer to the fight because I think that line's going to go his way or against his way anyways. And you'll probably get a better plus money number on MVP as it gets closer. Uh, but I'm on Gary here, minus 140. Gary, minus 140 for Jeff gets the fight card started. Let's roll on. Gaucho, we got a big Saturday live stream. You know that's how we get paid. So Mike's got one for the hard course. We've been on the other side before, as in the Stanley Cup championship. Wow. Just a couple, few days ago. We all know I, how that went for Mike. Mike, what are you on here? I am looking to get my cash back head-to-head -head with Gaucho here. Uh, look, Charles Air Jordan, 15, 7, and 1. I see the number 33, and everyone thinks, well, of course he's a favorite. Let's not forget his most recent fight. He's out there in Canada. The Canadians showed poorly. It doesn't matter where they tend to reside. The judges favor the home crowd. And that's how ineffective Charles Air Jordan was in his last fight. On the other side, number 67, Jean Silva, the up-and-comer, 12 and 2. We look at recent performances. Yeah, he's 1-0 and in his UFC. But the biggest thing about that is his debutante debut. He gets the victory. He already won the Dana White Contender Series. He's now 2-0 and under the UFC guides. And he's finished eight of his last nine opponents in the first round. I think it's a big opportunity for him to go out there and finish him in the first round here. Uh, I do like the opportunity with what we see here with Jean Silva, Air Jordan, the air's coming out of them tires. <laughs> we'll talk more about that come Saturday. Uh, it's a show me spot for Silva. And I do like I do like the young man. But um, you know, until then, we'll we'll see about that. We'll see. I have yet to place a bet in that one, and I'm uh, looking forward to uh eyeing that one up as it gets a little closer. But we got the main event for Gaucho here. Number three, Alex Pereira at 10 and 2 versus number two, Yari 34 and 1. For a second. 
What, what do you think, uh, Gaucho? How are we getting paid on this one? Yeah, this is an exciting one. It's two fighters that I, uh, you know, I really, really like. I like betting on them, and for good reason. You know, um, in the case of Alex Pereira, seven and one, the UFC. Yuri, five and one. I love Yuri, man. He's a he's a hell of a fighter. He puts on um, quite a show. He's quite unorthodox. Throws from weird angles. And uh, in this fight, he's probably the better grappler and wrestler ultimately. But in this case, I don't worry too much about that with Alex Pereira. He's been training alongside uh, one of the better wrestlers and grapplers in this division, in Glover Teixeira. I think he's made a made a a lot of improvements in, in those areas. And this is going to take place for the most part on the feet, you know, before um, this fight was lined, I thought for sure that Yuri would be an enormous underdog. Well, it opened up and Alex Pereira was a slight favorite minus 135, minus 150, and that, that sort of a range depending on your book. And the sharp line movement off the bat went immediately to Alex Pereira I think that sharp line movement early on was the way to go here. Um, it's come all the way back. I was able to get it minus 130. You can find us mi minus 135s now on Alex Pereira. And, uh, you know, this guy has the death touch. And I think he's, he's you know, the exact wrong person for somebody like Yuri to fight. Um, you know, Yuri can come in there and try to make it crazy but i don't think he gets out of the first two to two and a half round Pereira finds him clean this time around competitive fight in their first fight before Pereira got him out of there but uh yeah i'm on the Pereira side and i'm on it pretty large i think minus 135 is a real good price there we go i know you talked knockout as well at plus 120 it's going to be a lot of fun to get into the action with you boys on Saturday. Of course, the live stream's coming up. Make sure you follow the boys on X and stay tuned for the latest tips. Appreciate everybody watching us. All those.